Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's the first day of KublaCon and my family and I are excited to start our mini vacation. Since it's Friday and my daughter is still in school, I still have time to pack up our things until we register later at 3 p.m. So my morning is pretty much like usual. By the way, my orchid keiki is finally blooming. After I plan my tasks for the day in my self journal, I check off a few things off my list. One of the things I did was rushing to Home Depot to buy some new pots because I wanted to repot two of my succulents before we leave for the board game convention. I felt they were a little too deep and not draining water as well, so I repotted them in regular clay pots. Here's what I've packed so far. Yes, my daughter brought her squishmallow to the hotel. She even helped choose her own clothes to wear. This is her backpack and it's filled with things she thinks she would need. Out of all of the things she brought, she only played with a pink slime. I also packed some food and drinks for the duration of our stay. I bought some bananas, packed some almond nuts, some containers in case we wanted to store leftovers and heat it up. And as for the drinks, I brought hot cocoa, tea and instant coffee. Since it's going to be 4 days at the hotel, I also brought along my bullet journal and planner and a few pens for my planning session. We are now in our hotel room after checking in. The room layout is the same as the one we've been in last year. The only difference is the soap and shampoo is now in these big containers nailed to the wall. It's a little inconvenient for my daughter or if you're sitting down in the bathtub. In any case, we managed and at least it's clean. The hotel room has two queen size beds. My brother-in-law will be sharing the room with us so it's just nice. Oh, I also bought some Mexican cookies. My daughter loves them. Coffee machine is all set up and my daughter has unpacked her stuff as well. I also loved how our room looks into the center courtyard of the hotel. You could see the convention attendees walking about and playing board games. On the right side is where one could buy food and drinks. It's a little pricey but the food is good. After resting for a bit, we headed down to collect our badges. Since we were a little hungry already, we decided to have our dinner at the hotel's restaurant. Daniel had some sort of flatbread pizza, my daughter had chicken tenders and fries, while I had a wedge salad. It was not bad, but I wish the dressing was on the side rather than all over the lettuce. Next, we decided to check out the vendors. This is also where the game library is located, and you can check out games and play at the tables. There were a lot of interesting things to see, but we didn't buy anything. We stopped by at the Boppet booth. The creator of this game was supposedly at a convention as well. My daughter was eyeing the boba keychains. She already has tons at home, so we didn't buy it. We went to the playroom for kids, and it has its own board game library. For this jam-packed cards game, we modified the rules so that it's easier for our daughter to play. <laughs> okay. We didn't stay long at the room since it was closing at 8pm. Back at the room, I made myself some decaf coffee to drink, while my daughter played with her slime. My brother-in-law arrived and we're now heading to a room that's holding werewolf gaming sessions. My husband and his brother are really into this game but not me and my daughter. So I'm now back in the room doing some planning session. So I'm just checking off tasks that I did. I'm only going to be able to do a quick planning session as I expect myself to feel really tired after a long day of gaming. So decorating the next few days pages was the best option. Although I was sleepy, I, but I really wanted to take my time on this planning session. My plan is to list down the games played during the day over the next few days. Of course, the list of tasks will be much shorter but that's okay. By the way, my daughter got this free board game from the playroom. They were giving it out to all the kids. How nice! I read the rulebook and it's really easy and seems fun. Some of the plastic coins you see here was from last year. They give out coins for you to trade for toys. It's the next day and my daughter is watching videos on her iPad. My daughter and I went down to try the breakfast buffet. Although the food selection was good, the price was expensive. 
After breakfast, we headed over to the playroom. The first thing she did was play with the Legos. After that, we played headbands until my husband woke up and joined us. He had stayed up until 4am. Next game was Diggity Dog. My brother-in-law finally woke up in time for lunch. We're now walking over to the restaurant that's just down the street from our hotel. The food was not bad and since I was still full from breakfast, I had a bowl of Russian cabbage soup with diced brisket, the rest of my family had some sort of sandwich, my daughter had mac and cheese, and my brother-in-law had a burger. If you want some variety besides the hotel food, this is a good place to try. While my husband and daughter played with Lego, I decided to walk around. I saw a table with painted figurines entered for a contest. They were quite nice. I wonder who won. I'm back in the playroom and I decided to play Fan Domino with my daughter. It's almost like Uno but with tiles. At 5pm, it was time for the Kubla march. Kids get to dress up and march around the convention chanting Kubla. Once that's done, we headed out for dinner at Mr. Teriyaki Sushi, which was just next to the hotel. My daughter had sushi while I had a bento box, and my husband and his brother had ramen. Later that night, I played with my daughter the pick a mouse game while my husband and his brother went for another session of Werewolf. And here is my daily spread for the day. The top part is where I listed all the games we've played. It's the next day and breakfast was basically leftovers, nuts and bananas. After that, my daughter and I headed down to the playroom. We tried playing this game called Gosh Done Bubbles, but it wasn't long before my daughter lost interest and decided to play with Legos instead. She spent like 2 hours just playing Legos, I took this time to do some reading. For lunch, we decided to try the theme-inspired food prepared for the convention. We tried the tater tots, pizza, ice cream, fish sticks and rice and curry chicken. After lunch, it was back at the playroom and they played Red Attack Cat modified version. After that game, it was Pizza Fraction Fun, which did not last long, and then finally we played Blokers. And not long after that, it was the Kubla March again. After the march, she did some coloring, which did not last long before she wanted to play a game. Okay, am I this time, she wanted to play okay. headbands with Dad. She was quite good at this game but only because we gave good hints while she gave okay. not so accurate hints. Medium, okay. Uh, do I do I live in a farm? Nope, you don't. Do I live in a house? No. Okay, do I live outside outdoors? Outside? Yeah. Okay. Uh, am I a, a pet? Not a pet. Okay. Am I a wild animal? Yes. Okay. Okay. Camel. So you get it actually. For dinner, I decided to try the tofu curry rice from the food court. It was quite good actually. My daughter had chicken tenders. Later that night, I did some planning session, and this is my daily spread for the day. And this is tomorrow's. The next morning, we traded her coin she had collected for a 3D printed blue dragon and then had breakfast. We went back to the room to play Red Attack Cat, and then after that, we tried Bamboo Bash, which was like Jenga. Setting the leaves was kinda tricky and you had to hold them in place before stacking them on top of each other. Otherwise, they keep falling out. Hold on. For our final game, we played Guess Who before heading back to the room to finish packing. And with that, KublaCon was over. We checked out of our rooms at noon time, but our day was not over yet. It was also my brother-in-law's birthday and my husband was gonna treat him for lunch at this Japanese shabu shabu restaurant nearby. After that, we walked over to this boba shop called Teaspoon where we each bought a drink. My daughter played on her iPad while waiting. My husband bought for her this keychain, adding to her collection. And here's our drink. Mine was the purple one. And that's the end of our mini vacation. I hope you liked this video vlog of our time at KublaCon. If you liked it, do give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my other videos, do subscribe to my channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!